We all want a super healthy heart. And appropriate cholesterol levels is the first step. Scopecare shares tips for lowering cholesterol through your diet and making the most of exercise to reduce your risk for heart-related emergencies. Before we dive into a healthy diet, welcome to Scope Care, a safe and healing space for patients and caregivers of all ages. In every video, we bring something more unique and informative that provides long-term hope to the health space through therapeutic gardens. So if you want to be part of Scope Care, make sure to subscribe to the channel and give a thumbs up to this video. Cholesterol is a waxy substance produced by the liver and obtained from the consumption of animal products such as meat, dairy, and eggs. Although your liver will produce less cholesterol if you eat a lot of it from food, dietary cholesterol usually significantly influences total cholesterol levels. Consuming excessive amounts of saturated fat, trans fat, and sugars, on the other hand, can boost cholesterol levels. Keep in mind that there are several types of cholesterol. While good HDL cholesterol is essential for your health, high levels of bad LDL cholesterol have been associated with an increased risk of heart disease, heart attack, and stroke. This is because oxidized LDL cholesterol is more prone to attach to the walls of your arteries and make plaques, which block these blood vessels. Here are 10 ways to lower cholesterol with your diet and help reduce your risk of heart disease. Let's get started. Number one, eat foods rich in soluble fiber. Beans, legumes, whole grains, flax, and citrus all contain soluble fiber. However, as humans lack the enzymes needed to break down soluble fiber, it passes through the digestive tract, absorbing water and producing a thick paste. Soluble fiber absorbs bile as it passes a chemical generated by the liver to help in fat digestion. However, both the fiber and the attached bile are eventually eliminated in your stool. Bile is produced from cholesterol. So when your liver needs to make more bile, it takes cholesterol from your bloodstream, decreasing cholesterol levels naturally. In as little as four weeks, regular soluble fiber consumption is associated with a 5-10% to reduction in both total cholesterols and bad LDL cholesterol. It's recommended to eat at least 5-10 to 10 grams of soluble fiber each day for the maximum cholesterol-lowering effects. Still, benefits have been seen at even lower intakes of 3 grams per day. Number 2. Enjoy lots of fruits and vegetables. Eating fruits and vegetables is an easy way to reduce LDL cholesterol levels. Adults who take at least four servings of fruits and vegetables per day had a 6% lower LDL cholesterol level than those who eat less than two servings per day. Fruits and vegetables also have a high concentration of antioxidants, which prevent LDL cholesterol from oxidizing and forming plaque in your arteries. These cholesterol-lowering and antioxidant properties, when combined, can minimize your risk of heart disease. So, people who eat the most fruits and vegetables have a 17% lower risk of developing heart disease over 10 years than those who eat the fewest. Number 3. Cook with herbs and spices. Herbs and spices are nutrient-dense foods full of nutrients, minerals, and antioxidants. When eaten on a daily basis, garlic, turmeric, and ginger are very good at lowering cholesterol. Just one garlic clove every day for three months is enough to reduce total cholesterol by 9%. Herbs and spices also include antioxidants that prevent LDL cholesterol from oxidizing, thereby minimizing plaque formation in your arteries. Even though herbs and spices are not commonly taken in big numbers, they can considerably add to the overall quantity of antioxidants eaten each day. Some of the highest antioxidant levels are found in dried oregano, sage, mint, thyme, clove, allspice, and cinnamon, as well as fresh herbs including oregano, marjoram, dill, and cilantro. Number four. Eat a variety of unsaturated fats. Food contains two types of fats, saturated and unsaturated. Saturated fats have no double bonds and are highly straight, packing together tightly and remaining solid at room temperature. Unsaturated fats have at least one double bond in a twisted form, which prevents them from adhering as tightly. Because of these properties, they are liquid at room temperature. In just eight weeks, most of your saturated fats and unsaturated fats can reduce total cholesterol by 9%, and bad LDL cholesterol by 11%. Avocados, olives, fatty fish, and almonds are rich in heart-healthy unsaturated fats, 
so eating them daily is good. Number five, avoid trans fats. Trans fat is unsaturated fat that has been modified by hydrogenation. Manufacturers use this hydrogenation process to make the unsaturated fats and vegetable oils more stable and healthy as an ingredient. You can often find hydrogenated oils in shortenings and margarine. Food manufacturers prefer trans fat because they offer more texture than unsaturated liquid oils. This trans fat may benefit these food companies, but they are not suitable for the human body. Partially hydrogenated trans fat is capable of increasing your total cholesterol and decreasing the beneficial HDL cholesterol. Trans fat is considered one of the major causes of heart disease worldwide. Fortunately, there have been strict regulations and implementations regarding the labeling of food products containing trans fat. Just remember if the label says zero trans fat, do not fall for it. Some food items try to mislead the consumers with their labels. If the product contains partially hydrogenated oils in the ingredients list, it has trans fat. Okay friends, I hope you're enjoying the video. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel Scope Care to watch more informative content in the future. If you have any questions so far, let us know in the comments below. Number six, eat fewer added sugars. Saturated and trans fats are not the only fats that can increase cholesterol levels. Eating an excessive amount of added sugars might have the same effect. Adults who consume 25% of their calories from drinks made with high fructose corn syrup experienced a 17% increase in LDL cholesterol in just two weeks. Unfortunately, fructose raises the quantity of tiny, dense, oxidized LDL cholesterol particles, which leads to heart disease. Between 2005 and 2010, an estimated 10% of Americans consumed over 25% of their daily calories from added sugars. These people were almost three times more likely to die from heart disease than those getting less than 10% of their calories from added sugars. That's why we recommend that women and children eat no more than 100 calories of added sugar per day and males eat no more than 150 calories per day. You can achieve these goals by simply reviewing labels and selecting items with no added sugars whenever possible. Number seven, enjoy a Mediterranean style diet. Following a Mediterranean style diet is one of the easiest ways to incorporate healthy lifestyle adjustments. Mediterranean diets are abundant in olive oil, fruits and vegetables and nuts, whole grains and seafood but low in red meat and dairy. This diet plan is considered highly heart healthy because it contains many cholesterol lowering meals while avoiding many cholesterol raising ones. In fact, a Mediterranean style diet for at least three months reduces LDL cholesterol by an average of 8.9 milligrams per deciliter. It also lowers the risk of heart disease by up to 52% and the risk of death by up to 47% when followed for at least four years. Number eight. Eat more soy. Soybeans are full of protein and contain isoflavins, which are plant-based compounds with a structure similar to estrogen. Soy protein and isoflavins have potent cholesterol-lowering properties and can lower your risk of heart disease. In fact, eating soy every day for at least a month can boost good HDL cholesterol by 1.4 milligrams per deciliter, while lowering bad LDL cholesterol by roughly four milligrams per deciliter. Less refined forms of soy, such as soybeans or soy milk, are likely to decrease cholesterol more effectively than processed soy protein extracts or supplements. Number nine, drink green tea. Green tea comes by heating and drying the leaves of the Camellia sinensis plant. The tea leaves can be soaked in water to form brewed tea or crushed into a powder that can be mixed with liquid to make matcha green tea. Green tea drinking for at least two weeks decreases total cholesterol by around seven milligrams per deciliter and increases the removal of bad LDL cholesterol from the bloodstream. Green tea is also high in antioxidants, which help to keep LDL cholesterol from oxidizing and building plaques in your arteries. Drinking green tea at least four cups per day provides the most excellent protection against heart disease, but enjoying one cup daily can reduce your risk of heart attack by nearly 20%. Number 10, consume polyunsaturated fats and omega-3 fatty acids. Fish are well known as a lean protein source and are frequently touted for their heart health benefits. Research has shown that replacing saturated fats with polyunsaturated fats in your diet can essentially decrease the LDL cholesterol level. Using polyunsaturated fats can help decrease the risk of coronary heart disease. 
Ordinarily, you can get omega-3 from fish and seafood oil supplements. However, if you want to increase your intake of polyunsaturated fats and omega-3 fatty acids, you should eat more fatty fish such as herring, mackerel, salmon, and deep-sea tuna. High levels of bad LDL cholesterol, minimal dense oxidized LDL, have been linked to increased risk of heart disease. Changes in diet, such as eating more fruits and vegetables, cooking with herbs and spices, eating dietary fibers, and increasing your intake of unsaturated fats can help lower cholesterol levels and minimize these risks. Avoid ingredients that raise LDL cholesterol, such as trans fats and added sugars, to keep cholesterol within healthy limits. Overall, a variety of simple dietary changes can have a substantial impact on your cholesterol levels. With that, it is time to wrap up today's video. I hope that you found the list quite informative and also satisfactory. If you liked the content, share it among your friends and comment below which point on the list surprised you the most. And keep coming back to Scope Care for more interesting lists and updates on a healthy lifestyle by subscribing to the channel. Thank you for watching the video. See you in the next video. If you want to live a healthy life, eat healthy food. Stay healthy, stay happy. Bye-bye.